after our tour of the Fushimi Inari Taisha Shrine, we are now on our way for our next Kyoto tour destination, which is the Kyoto Imperial Palace. Using Google Maps, we found that the Kyoto Imperial Palace is near the Imadigawa Station, which is part of the Kyoto Subway Karasuma Line. The Fushimi Inari Taisha Shrine, where we are coming from, is just in front of the JR Inari Station. And so from the JR Inari Station, we have to go back to the Kyoto Station as the Kyoto Subway Karasuma Line is also found there at the Kyoto Station. Our Hyperdia search shows that to go back to the Kyoto Station, we ride the JR Nara Line from the JR Inari Station to the Kyoto Station at Platform Number 9 or Platform Number 10. And so, after our tour of the Fushimi Inari Taisha Shrine, in the same way that we exit, we enter the JR Inari Station ticket gates as always by showing our JR Pass to the man or woman at the counter on the side of the ticket gates. Then we proceed to platform number 1 to ride the train going to Kyoto Station. There is a bridge that goes from platform number 2 to platform number 1 where we ride the train going to Kyoto Station. After arriving at the Kyoto Station, we have to ride the Karasuma Line train going to Imadigawa Station in order to reach the Kyoto Imperial Palace. Using Hyperdia search tool, we can see that in order to go to the Imadigawa Station in Kyoto, we ride the Karasuma Subway Line train at the Kyoto Station at the platform going towards the Kokosai Kaikan Station. Using Google Maps Street View, we can find our way going to the Karasuma subway line at the Kyoto Station. Now in this example, remember that after our trip from the Inari Station using the Nara Line train, we get down at the Kyoto Station at platform number 9. After getting down the train, we find the stairway going down to the exit for the underground east gate which actually goes to the subway line. After getting down the stairway, we turn left towards the underground east exit which goes to the Karasuma subway line. In case we arrive at platform number 10, we get down to the first floor and go towards the underground east gate which actually leads to the subway lines. After getting down at the first floor, we turn right and go down the stairs that goes to the underground east gate and the subway lines. Down at the basement floor, you will again find the signboard that shows that you have to turn left and go to the underground east exit in order to go to the Karasuma subway line. After turning left, we move on and walk ahead until we find the underground east exit. We are still inside the conventional JR lines and so upon reaching the underground east exit, we have to first exit the conventional JR lines. At this point, we have to exit the underground east gate by showing our JR pass to the man or woman at the counter at the side of the ticket gates. After leaving the conventional JR lines through the underground east exit, we just have to follow the signboard that will take us to the Karasuma subway lines. 
However, the best way to go to the Karasuma subway line from the underground east exit is to turn right. After a few steps, you will find the Karasuma subway ticket gates. The Karasuma subway line is not covered by our JR Pass. And so we have to use our Suica card which we previously bought at the Narate airport to enter the Karasuma subway ticket gates. We bought our Suica cards at the Narate airport, particularly at the JR Pass exchange office. Now let us open and download the Kyoto City subway route map. Using the Kyoto City subway route map, we can see that the Kyoto station is K11 on the Karasuma subway line while the Imadegawa station is station K06 and that we are going from the Kyoto station to the Imadegawa station by going towards the Kokusai Kaikan station which is station K01. This means that from the Karasuma Kyoto subway station, we can go to the Imadegawa station by riding the train at platform number 2, which is going towards the Kokosai Kaikan station. The subway stations in Kyoto are numbered. This is very useful in pointing to us the direction the train is traveling on the platform where we will ride the train. In this trip, the train numbers are going down from K11 of the Kyoto station to K06 of the Imadegawa station. On the wall, we should see that the station numbers are also going down from K11 to K10. K10 is actually the Gojo station which shows that it is the next station after the Kyoto station going down. And so, traveling from the Kyoto station on the Kyoto City Subway Karasuma line on the train going towards the Kokosai Kaikan station, after 10 minutes, we finally arrived at the Imadegawa station. After getting down the train at the Imadegawa subway station, we went up the stairs, going to exit number 3, which is going to the Kyoto Imperial Palace. You can also use the escalator or elevators provided at the station. Just beside the ticket gates, we also found the sign post showing us the way to exit number 3, which is going to the Kyoto Imperial Palace. In the subway stations, the ticket vending machines are also used to load money into smart cards such as the Suica card. In case you have luggage to bring with you, there are actually two elevators provided at the station. One elevator goes from the train platforms on the home floor to the concourse floor before the ticket gates and another elevator that goes from the concourse floor after the ticket gates to the ground floor at exit number 3. We finally got out of the Imadegawa subway station. From here we walked to the Kyoto Imperial Palace. The Imadegawa station actually has many exits. We went out through exit number 3, which is the exit going to the Kyoto Imperial Palace. From the Imadegawa station exit number 3, it is just a 7 minutes walk to the Kyoto Imperial Palace. We just have to cross the Imadegawa Dori Street, which is in front of the Imadegawa station exit number 3. Just in front of the Imadegawa station exit number 3. We also found the guide map showing the way to the Kyoto Imperial Park. After crossing the Imadegawa Dori Street, the Kyoto Imperial Park will be found at the left side of the Karasuma Dori Street. We just have to find the first gate on the left side of the Karasuma Dori Street which will lead us to the Kyoto Imperial Palace. The Kyoto Imperial Palace was the former residence of the Emperor of Japan and the Imperial family until 
in 1868 when it was moved from Kyoto to Tokyo. Kyoto also used to be the capital of Japan until on the same year, in 1868, it was moved to Tokyo, which is now Japan's capital. Traditionally, the home of the emperor is considered the capital of Japan. Ano na ba yung pinaka-presidential palace? Oo, oh, mo! Yeah, okay. 